name is Ibert and today we are talking about animation, but more specifically, how to deform a drawing with a deformer and then bake that transformation so that you have a bunch of drawings instead of just one deformed drawing. Basically, we're gonna learn how to morph your drawing the better way than using the morph tool. Because last time we learned how to use the morph tool, so we made that beautiful cloud. Then to go from there to there, we had to, you know, like give it hints and make sure that Harmony was not stupid and making weird stuff with your cloud. But today we're gonna learn how to do that with a deformer. So I'm gonna take that cloud drawing, I'm gonna <coughs> and start fresh. So I'm gonna create a new drawing. I'm gonna call it deformer four. Yes, number four, because I've been re-recording that video four times because OBS keeps crashing on me. Thank you. Fourth time the charm, I guess. Let's hope. Knock on wood. I have this drawing. And then I'm gonna make a little circle. Actually, it's a big circle. I'll give it a deformer. If you don't know how to build deformers, go check my playlist about deformers. You'll learn everything about it there. I'm using a envelope and I'm just going to, you know, surround my drawing. Okay, so now that this is done, I'll give it a peg just for good measure. And there you go, we have our basic drawing deformer peg system. I'm gonna go on my deformer peg, make sure it's collapsed, put a keyframe. Then I'll go to frame 30, and I'm gonna put another keyframe just to make sure that all my points have a keyframe. You could also just move all the points manually, but I like processes. So I put a keyframe and then I move my points. So I'm gonna move them uh, in a very crazy way just to make sure that we um, see a difference. So yeah, I have my shape and uh, frame one looks like this, second frame, second pose looks like this. Um, I have to make sure that I have in-betweens, so I'm gonna take my animation, I'm gonna press on set motion keyframe, boop, and then it's gonna go something like this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just like any deformer animation, you can change the timing as you wish with like this drop down, like the set ease type, so just for fun, I'm gonna go here and get a ease and ease out so that I have a... <laughs> cool looking animation. You could also use the set ease for multiple parameters if you felt fancy. I don't feel fancy at all this morning. I did shower. And now you have your animation, so how do you bake it? It's pretty easy, but a bit finicky. So you have to click on your drawing, find it in your timeline, and then you don't have to bake the whole thing. You could bake just one drawing, you can bake a section. What I'll do is I'm gonna take it from start to finish, just because I want to get the whole thing, but you don't have to. And then you have to go into animation, deformation, and convert deformed drawing to drawings with an S. And now comes the finicky, a bit weird part. It is not gonna work unless you have a deformation chain. By that what I mean is, if I click, Harmony is gonna be like, no, deformed drawing can only be converted to normal drawings if they are under a deformation rig, which supports multiple deformation chains. From my understanding, what that means is that it's not going to work unless you have a deformation chain. So I'm gonna press okay. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my drawing, and then using this button that looks like a little bikini with a plus sign, I will create a new deformation chain. So I do have a tutorial about how to use that tool so you can check it out. In our case, we're just gonna make an empty new chain just because Harmony said so for some reason that I completely ignore. So I'm gonna click on my drawing. I'm gonna click on the bikini icon. And now this is gonna add a new transformation chain to my layer. So if I go to my group, now instead of having just a set of like deformer bones and whatever. Now I have it in the group and I have these two wires next to it. They're both empty because I don't, I'm not gonna put deformers on my chain. It's just because Harmony said so. So you basically just have to click on your drawing, click on the bikini icon, then you're gonna have a drop down here that appears. You can name them if you want, but in that case, it's really not useful since we're gonna throw it away after anyway. But basically you have a drop down and um, you have transformation one and two. Transformation one is the one you created before, so make sure that you go back to this one, boop, and then your points are going to come back. And if I scroll, I'll see my animation again. So now we're good, we're back to the beginning. I will just, then again, like I said, you just select your zone, you go to animation, deformation, and now Harmony should <laughs> let you do it. Amazing. Okay. And now I have my drawings and it's moving. And you might think it's because of the deformer, but it's not. Because if I disconnect the deformer and I just have my drawing, do, 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 I have my animation still. The difference between the morph tool and the deformer baking though, is that with the morph, you really go from one drawing to the other. With the deformer, you're, you're just like baking a deformation. So this drawing that I have at the beginning is still the same drawing as here. So if you wanted to stay that way, all you have to do is take that drawing and, you know, click and drag it to the next one so that it eats it. And then it's going to stay there. Yay. So that's how you would do it. 
And one funny thing that I, you know, one thing that I do love is that if I go to my drawing sub view and I look at my new drawings, it says that they've been cooked one, two, three, four, five. I think that's a little neat uh, attention. <laughs> Because when we do these kind of operation, either if it's in Maya, you're gonna bake like the the rig transformation to your to your modeling, or in Harmony, you bake the deformation. We always say we bake it because you know it's it's final. We take all the ingredients and whatnot and we bake it. It's final. So the fact that the dev called it cooked, I think it's hilarious. It's like the little eyes here that follow you. Just a little extra attention again that the developers at Toon Boom do, and I think it's pretty neat. So yeah, cooked. <laughs> I cooked my drawing. It is now baked. Yeah, so how would you use that? You don't use that to bake your whole rig. It's not gonna work because a rig is complicated. There's sometimes there's constraints, pegs, there's cutters involved, color right. It's not gonna work. This is just for one layer where you put a deformer and you want to bake it. You can use it for effects, you can use it if you have a piece in your rig, maybe like you have like a hair and you want to bake one drawing of the hair to modify it and make it better or something, you can also do that. Sometimes it's good for corrections and retakes, it's really helpful to bake your deformed drawing. And you know, when I made my deformation, you know, I didn't spend too much time on it, but you can customize your deformation just like anything else. You can take this little drop down, you can take the um, set E for multiple parameters. You can still use all of that. It's fine. It's just that you cannot do it on your whole rig at the same time. But one piece at a time will work. And I use it very often for my effects work and to modify some drawings. And I really hope that this is going to help you maybe save time in your projects. And uh, with that, I'm going to wish you farewell. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye.